nice to have you on Morning Scramble with us today. Love that commentary, Pat. It's true. We, we Americans kind of have issues with that, unlike uh, the European countries usually. Okay, but I have a great subject for you today. Okay, did you know that in the middle of the day, if you look up through a chimney or from a, the bottom of a dark, deep well, you can see the stars. Now, this is in the middle of the day. Yeah, weird phenomenon. Of course, that is if your eyes are healthy. With us today, we have Dr. Mark Barakat of the Retinal Consultants of Arizona. Nice to have you on again. Thanks for having me back, Cindy. You're our healthy eye guy. I know. <laughs> and so here's the deal. There's always things that go wrong with the, I mean, some eyes go bad Absolutely. or have problems. Sure. What are some, and there's new treatments coming out all the time. What are some of the problems that there are new solutions for? Well, you know, the, the mainstay, the, the biggest problems that we have uh, are, are those that affect the very center of the retina, the inside of the eye, and that's called the macula. And very common problems are age-related macular degeneration things like diabetic macular edema, and then there's also some more rare diseases such as retinitis, pigmentosa, things like that. Wow, and I guess in the past, a lot of times those weren't even treatable. Well, you know, as uh, almost 10, 15 years ago, I might, you might come in with something like this, God forbid, and I would shake your hand and say, gosh, I'm very sorry, I'll see you back again in a year, and I don't foresee you being able to read again. Yeah, there's and a cane, whatever, a, a pretty, red pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. And nowadays, there's, there's a lot more treatment options, and more important than that, there's actually hope. That is really, really good news. Okay, so let's talk about some, I guess there's five uh, basic new things that change the outcomes of some of these things. Well, it's one way of organizing that there's been a lot of different things that have been happening in the five broad categories. And the, the first category one can look at is, is surgical implants. So uh, say you have macular generation, and essentially what you have is if it's very advanced, you can't see or read, you can't see faces, but you can see around the faces. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's horrible because reading is such a critical is. task. Absolutely. <laughs> right. And now what we can do is, uh, before we've always had cataract surgery where you take the cataract out and replace it with a clear plastic implant, a right. lens, mm -hmm. but that wouldn't address the main problem. Now, instead of doing that, you actually get screened by, by one of us, a retinal consultants, and you get referred to a company called Centrosight, and you can get an implant of a telescope, a miniature telescope within the eye that helps to enlarge things and could potentially give you back that reading vision that you've lost. Unbelievable, we've got some pictures up there showing, I can't even comprehend Yeah, the this. technology is amazing. If you, yeah. if you look at the size of that implant, it's, it's minuscule and it does a great, great job. Is this really a serious operation? Is it pretty much as routine now as the putting a lens in uh, for well, cataracts? Well, the, the surgery itself is relatively routine. It's just the screening beforehand it has to be very rigorous. You have to be the correct candidate. That's why you first start out with a, with a retina person and get screened if you're the right candidate for that. And another implant um, similar to this, but in a different category, is actually the, the retinal chip implant. You may have heard of this before. It's called the Argus II. It was developed at uh, USC. And essentially, that, that is a more complex surgery where it actually you implant the electrodes within the eye that can actually help uh, stimulate the nerve that goes to the brain and give you a semblance of vision back as well. That's even more revolutionary. Amazing. So it's kind of like a robotic eye. It's in the first, some it, it, in some sense, it's actually the first step towards that, absolutely. Wow, so people at some point won't maybe have to lose their vision at all. I mean. That, that is the hope. This is a very exciting frontier. Boy, no kidding. All right, but also surgical instruments, that kind of thing, are those making a difference? Well, they, they absolutely too? are, that's, that's a great point. So um, we first started with modern vitrectomy. Vitrectomy is all, all these surgeries when you enter the eye behind the lens, whatnot and it, for example, do a vacuum out the floaters and get access to the retina, access to the macula for all sorts of conditions such as detachments or bleeding or trauma and whatnot. And we used to have to make large incisions and suture them. And, and if I, I see you wincing and- well, I can't imagine, you know, your it, eye being- Absolutely. Stitched and, and stuff. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, and it, the, we got the job done, but it was not very comfortable for the patient. Nowadays, the, this, uh, the surgical instrumentation has gotten so small, so tiny, 23 gauge, 25 gauge, at this point, even 27 gauge, that you don't even need to suture them anymore. They're self-sealing wounds much quicker 
do a great job, the patient's much more comfortable. Phenomenal. You guys have to have good eyesight to do that, don't you? Uh, As hope, surgeons and doctors. One, one would hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or really good telescopes or whatever those things it's, are. It's actually a combination. <laughs> I know. So what, and then I, automation in laser photocoagulation. Now, th this is tricky. really interesting. What is it's, that? It's, it's a tricky word, but essentially for, for a lot of diseases, especially in, in macular edema from diabetes or, or other diabetic retinopathy, you need to apply laser. Now, laser has been a mainstay for many decades, um, but it's gotten better and better before you, you'd cause very large, uh, large burns. Now there's actually uh, automation in the sense that instead of doing one spot, you do 10 spots at a time. It's much quicker, it's much easier, the patient's more comfortable. And now there's even, uh, there are even lasers with automation, uh, with tracking technology. What does that mean? Essentially, it means it's smarter than we are. It's, it's smarter than most of us are, actually. <laughs> if, if you were to move your eye and I'm doing the laser, I could potentially laser the center of your vision, causing blindness. Whereas this actually tracks the vessels with some of the very same technology used in the, used in the defense industry. I was going to say that, like heat-seeking missiles, that oh, well, kind of yeah, thing, right? Absolutely. Actually, it's wow. very similar and, and actually stops and it's very safe and, and avoids certain areas. Now, that's still oh, in, in the early stages, and I'm sure there's going to be even better and newer generations coming up, but that, again, very exciting. <laughs> I tell you, that, that is unbelievable. Okay, how about imaging, OCT? What is that? So, OCT. Optical coherence tomography, that, that has revolutionized what we've done. Uh, now, usually we examine the eye, we look in the eye with a special set of lenses and, and we get an idea. It's almost as if we were to take a photograph. Yeah. Now, in OCT, uh, what that does is actually it, it scatters light into the eye and get the reflection of that is, is computated in, within a computer. It's almost like a CAT scan where you can actually scan through it, except there's no radiation, it's, it's just light. And you can actually see that the architecture, the structure within, very subtle changes are caught very early on. Uh, early treatment for things such as macular edema, macular swelling, um, can have a huge impact on saving vision. We're not nearly as good at bringing vision back. So it's that early treatment again, but now you have better technology to find the, There, you know, there are no fancy answers, absolutely. The yeah. earlier you catch it, the better off you are. Wow, amazing. Do you have to require, I mean, ask for these specially or when you get your yearly vision exam, you, the doctor would say, you know what, well, we need to take, do this. So this is not part of the exam. You would say like an MRI, we need to go look further yeah, it's, with this. It's, it's based upon the examination. If there's enough suspicion or enough signs, then you get that scan. That is done within the office though. This is not, not you know, you wouldn't have to go and get an outpatient nice. procedure. Nice, okay. You don't have to put a robe on and get in a machine and all that kind of stuff. No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> I love it, I like that. Okay. <laughs> How about drugs, vision-saving drugs? Right. That's a new one, too. And th that's a very new one. And, and that really evolved from the field of, again, macular degeneration, which, which has hit millions of people. And with the, with the evolving population, with the baby boomers getting older, unfortunately, is going to get even worse. Um, it, basically, with these injections, we can help stabilize the vision 90, 95% of the time. Uh, whereas before, you can have drastic and devastating vision loss in the very center of your vision. Um, so this has not been available. It's only been available since about 2004 to 2006. There's many different medications within that drug category. Wow. So that really has that, revolutionized things. And that can be a, like a first step to saving the vision well, no, treatment? Uh, absolutely. In combination, uh, remember we talked about the OCT. The OCT yeah. finds small swelling, small leaking or bleeding. Mm -hmm. And whereas before these medications, we would say, well, I'm pretty sure you will be legally blind within the year. Now we'll say as long as we are aggressive in treating this, uh, we can save this vision for, for the long term. Wow, I tell you, that is the most incredible news. I mean, all this stuff is teamed up and it's apparently quite recent that all of it has become available. Within the last decade or so, this has been yeah. a, you know, a, a game changer. It's, it's shifted the paradigm from yeah. us being bystanders and, and having a vision you know, pass us by and, and now actually uh, affecting it. Wow, I tell you, that's really good news because you know, everybody wants to see. I can't imagine not being able to see and it's, see it's, well. It's very difficult yeah. to imagine a life without, without it. would change it. your life. Absolutely. Like you say, driving, reading, seeing people's faces. So It's, it's quality of life, really. Yeah. We take that for granted sometimes. Well, thank you so much for taking care of our eyes, and I'm so glad for all these new things. It's Because you pleasure. never know thanks, what's going to Thanks hit. for having me. Yeah. Thanks for spreading the word. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Mark Barakat, thanks so much for joining us from Retinal Consultants. Appreciate thanks. it.